having secured a 25-year lease to operate the Rockfort Mineral Bath from the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport. Leaseholders Carib Cement Company Limited has made a commitment to invest $57 million over the next five years on the facility's revitalization and eventual return as one of Kingston's most celebrated attractions. Joel Crosskill provides the details. Having been shuttered from the public for over four years, a tide shift as an agreement has been secured to put the iconic Rockford Mineral Bath back into operation. The announcement was made by the Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport, Olivia Grange, during the signing of the agreement at its new Kingston headquarters. The ministry, through the Jamaica National Heritage Trust, has given a 25-year lease to Carriage Cement to operate the site. Today we begin a new journey, ladies and gentlemen a new journey to positioning the mineral bath as a health and heritage site. Under this agreement, which we end today with Carib Cement, the Rockford Mineral Bath will undergo major upgrades over the next five years at a cost of approximately $57 million. I am pleased to hear that some renovations will be completed within three to six months, which will make the facility available to the public shortly. The fort that houses the bath was constructed around 1694. However, the mineral spring itself was not discovered until the Kingston earthquake of 1907. The magnitude of what the facility's return means to its modern visitors was not lost on managing director of Carib Cement, Jorge Martinez. With this landmark, 24-year agreement in place, we will work to achieve key benchmark, as mentioned by the minister, for the improvement of the site over the next five years. This includes the enhancement of the bats. I want again to reinforce the significance of the rock for mineral bath, not only as a place of relaxation and re even rejuvenation, but also as a great symbol of the shared heritage of Kingston. Chairman of Carib Cement, Paris Liu Ai, also endorsed the vision of re-establishing the location, which was declared a national monument in 1992, to its rightful station as a beloved part of Jamaica's cultural and historic landscape. Our vision, Minister, is very clear. To restore and renew this iconic site enabling large numbers of local and international visitors to experience the world-famous therapeutic benefits of its sparkling mineral waters. Over the next 25 years of this lease, we pledge to breathe new life into the Rockport Mineral Bath, ensuring it remains, that it remains a cherished destination for generations to come and to enjoy. Joel Crosskill, CVM News.